first off, my fellow Canadians, if you're going to watch this, please forgive me. I am so outraged. I am going to be using some hard language. I just read an absolutely infuriating story that came out of, it was a home invasion in Victoria, Australia. Now, look at the parallel between Trudeau's gun laws, the ones he's just enacted, and that stupid cow in Australia, what she enacted as a knee-jerk reaction to a terrible tragedy, and what it's resulted in, the danger to the citizens of Australia. I would like to read you something. There is a charge in the U.S. Judiciary called depraved indifference, and it is a criminal offense. Depraved indifference. To constitute depraved indifference, the defendant's conduct must be so wanton, so deficient in a moral sense of concern, so lacking in regard for the life or the lives of others, and so blameworthy as to warrant the same criminal liability as that which the law imposes upon a person who intentionally causes a crime. You got that? If you didn't quite get it, look it up. Okay, please? And read it again a couple of times. Now, if I had the power, God knows, I would haul fucking Trudeau and his entire fucking cabinet up and charge them with depraved indifference. And let me explain. Canadians are dying. Canadian citizens are dying because of the actions of the Liberal government. You got that? And let me explain. Anybody who doubts this, look at Marissa Shen. Raped and murdered by an illegal immigrant. Not an irregular migrant. He was an illegal fucking immigrant who raped and murdered a young Oriental girl in B.C. Why was he here? The Liberal government. The Liberal government did not, did not enact proper health and safety measures for flights coming from China for fear of offending the Chinese. The Chinese government is fucking offensive. It is one of the world's largest polluters, one of the greatest breeders of diseases. Look, swine flu, swine flu H1N1, uh, SARS, and now COVID-19. Where'd they all come from? Duh! And what has the government done? Virtue signal. And, oh, let's not offend the Chinese. They are fucking offensive. Not the Chinese people per se, but their government. L look at the amount of pollution they spew out into the atmosphere, and they've just put out a whole pile more coal-fired plants. Where's Greta Thunberg? Hmm? Where's this, oh, oh, this poster child for environmental concern? Where the fuck is she? The silence is deafening. Canadians are dying because of the depraved indifference of the Canadian government. We have accepted illegal migrants, illegal immigrants into this country without proper screening for criminality, without proper screening for disease, without proper screenings for links to terrorism. Have we done that? No. Why not? Depraved indifference. The Canadian government is responsible for the murder of Canadian citizens by virtue of depraved indifference. And it's not a stretch. You need only look at that yourself. Look it up yourself and take the blinkers off. I haven't heard anybody mention this, but by God, if I had the power, that whole goddamn cabinet would be up there on charges. Patty Hyde, dude, Teresa Tam, who's in the pocket of the WHO, but she's working for us Canadians. Oh, yeah, right. Don't piss down my back and tell me it's raining. And Trudeau, that dancing, prancing buffoon. Oh. What will it take? What will it take to galvanize Canadians? What will it take to realize that we are being eroded? We're going down exactly the same goddamn path as Australia. There was just a post on Facebook about what has happened in Australia since the big gun ban that will improve public safety. They don't have sufficient police forces anymore. Crimes or oh, the judiciary is a goddamn joke. People cannot defend themselves adequately and the government cannot defend the people. They don't even have the right to defend themselves. There is a direct correlation and a proven correlation between the safety of an armed citizenry and the crime rate. And if you think I'm full of shit, take a look at Kennesaw, Georgia. Anybody, I dare you, look at them, look at their gun laws, look at their crime rate. Take a look at the U.S. state of Maine. Look at their gun laws, look at their crime rate. These are facts. Canadians are dying. What will it take for the love of God? People, wake up. Pass this around and hold this government's feet to the fire that until they start acting in such a manner that will protect the people of Canada, they are not 
They are not, and I cannot stress this too strongly, they are not governing Canada. They are dictating to Canada, and they are killing our people. End of story. So if you agree with me, pass this on. If you don't, refute me, rebut me. I dare you, go ahead and try. <sighs> My apologies for the language, but this has got to stop, people.